here coming at you with a duel. Right now I'm going to be testing out another version of my UAs. Uh, this is going to be more of a turbo version. Um, I'm actually running Royal Decrees of Sir Goblins in this, as well as Terraformings. Uh, I've noticed that you need your stadium. It is literally one of your key cards. Not one of your key cards. It is like one of the key... Like, it is the card that you're going to need uh, to both beef up your monsters and... Um, yeah, to both beef up, beef up your monsters, and it's your search card, so it's very important. Alright, so really, we open up with a great hand. Unfortunately, no royal decree, which makes me kind of scared, to be completely honest with you. I mean, I have a really good hand. I mean, it was all planned from, I was all planned from the first draw, basically, uh, was what it is. So, yeah, this is basically all spells, only running three traps, which is the royal decree. I do not like the fact that I'm not running defensive traps. Um, but I am running the Forbidden Lands, 3 MSTs, um, and all that jazz. So, let's go, and we have no terraforming, but it's okay, because we literally got all the cards that we need in our first hand. So we're going to normal summon the UA midfielder. Let's clarify that it was a normal summon. Let's bounce back the UA midfielder back to the hand, and special summon out the ace. And, I mean, that's really going to be the end of our turn. Uh... I kind of want to throw down the Feast, but it is my only copy of it in the deck, so I'm just going to end the turn there. I usually want to see Feast of the Wild level 5 around uh, mid to late game. Honestly, this card is just to go into a, a standard rank 5 play. Uh, nothing else. But, alright, we also need some negation, um, so I'd rather throw away the Feast than throw away mid Midfielder or even Slugger. So... Yeah, that's basically what it is. Hopefully my back row survives the turn, and it looks like we're going to be playing some plants. Alright, that's fine. Alright, that's cool. So he's going to go for the effect of Lone Fire Blossom. Hopefully it's not Sylvan's. I never understood what Sylvan's actually did. I know they uh, mill, and that's how they get their effects, but... The text is too big, and I don't feel like reading it, to be honest. I know they have the one searcher, and I know you could stack the deck. Um, it's basically how Sivan's roll. Um, but I know that they're not really seeing that much play this format because of um, Quill Forts and uh, Burning Abyss, Stiller Knights, you know, and all that type of stuff. Um, I was thinking about also running Eagle Swarms. They're a pretty budget deck. Actually, extremely budget deck. So if you ever want to play something budget, to compete the meta, you could always play Evil Swarms. They're super strong. They can main deck Dimensional Fissure and Macro. And actually, that's my main deck. That's my main deck um, on DN. If I ever want to get rating, it's just Evil Swarms, to be completely honest with you. So yeah, that's a thing. And I realize now that I could have actually negated the Lone Fire Blossom, but I was talking. Honestly, if I would have negated the Lone Fire Blossom, it would have been really a really big play for me. But it's all right. So basically, we're just going to send his Glow Bulb to the grave. Alright, so I drew into the terraforming. So honestly, this I, I feel like I stacked my own deck because we opened up great, to be honest. Alright, cool. So basically, you guys are going to be seeing the standard plays. We're going to activate the stadium. We're almost some of the midfielder. Uh, stadium's effect activates stadium, which allows us to search out a... Um, I guess we'll go for a, a goalkeeper. Because, I mean, why not, right? Why not? Awesome. So let's go, let's back back midfielder to the hand. Spells back slug to get the slugger. Um, stadium is going to activate, boosting on my attack. So slugger would be at um, 28, ace would be at 2k. So since we're playing plants, I'm not really going to be that scared of uh, any monster really running over me. So let's go and let's attack with ace. I'm going to save my last attack for Slugger, just in case he wants to drop in a Battle Fader. You know, you may never know. Battle Fader, some weird shit there. Never know. So, it looks like that's going to be the end of our turn. I would really like to actually... Um, I'm going to do that, yeah. I'm going to go, bounce back to Slugger, push some of the Goalkeeper in defense, and pass the turn to him. Goalkeeper is just... Uh, I, like I said, I only run Goalkeeper at 1. I've seen people run it at three, which I think it's ridiculous because you only need you only ever need the one goalkeeper, uh, because Ace is, is uh, Ace is already a mini Herald of Perfection, so 
goalkeeper is just there to kind of protect it even more. But essentially, you would already want to protect it. Um, it honestly looks like uh, the the plant player either got a bad hand or he didn't want to commit that much to the field because honestly, um, he's not really impressing me that much. And either I just opened up really strong, which honestly I did. I already opened up. I opened up with an ace, a slugger, midfielder. Uh, Oh, all right, quick. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I was about to be like, does he expect to negate my ace? That's fine. Um, that's fine. I'm not really. I mean, he has a blow up bulb in the grave, so maybe he's gonna go for some crazy ass play. Um, too bad I didn't really get to try roll the Cree. I mean, most people are already. Um, do I? What do I want to do here? I think. All right. Let's see, one of his targets. He has a lone fire blossom, but it's only a level two, I believe. Yeah, level two. Uh he's not gonna really be able to do anything. So yeah, I'm gonna let it go through. Cause th the only two cards that he has in his grave that he can get are uh tuners, which is nothing spectacular. And then he gets the doppel. Alright, now I, I was just talking shit. Now I'd probably fuck this duel up for myself because I let that go through. Um, because I was being cocky and honestly, like I just didn't want to waste my my one negation on a junk synchron. So he has he has options here to go into a five, I believe into a seven, and into a three. And then he also gets the tokens. So I I'm not in a bad situation. If anything, I am not in a bad situation. I'm still in a pretty solid situation, pretty solid state. I have a 2k ace that I can negate up to once. So it's not a bad situation to be in. I also have goalkeeper. So goalkeeper basically will allow it not to get destroyed by battle or by card effect once during his turn. So I basically got a really strong hold of this game right now. Um, as long as he doesn't do anything cra crazy like going to Quasar... <laughs> I feel pretty confident that I'm going to be alright. So he's going to go into a 5, which is an Armides. Oh, shit. Um, alright. Alright, so I'm just going to activate the goalkeeper effect. Uh, just to straight up protect the ace. Ace is only at... Um, ace is only at 2,000 right now, so... I at least can protect the goalkeeper. I'm not the goalkeeper. The ace for this turn, uh, once, and yeah, that, that's all he did. So he just brings back the glow bomb because maybe he forgot about goalkeeper and he's not really gonna commit that much to the field, or if he's just gonna go for a straight up formula synchron. Uh, and let's see, would he be able to? If he had level eater, he could go into quasar. Because level eater would be in the grave. He could bounce back, make another level five like Junk Warrior. He has an Armides Junk Warrior plus a Formula Synchron. And oh, well, all right. Well, I kind of wanted to negate that, but wait. Negate with Ace. Yeah, I kind of want to negate that. So he has no more Synchro opportunities, and this card gets back into the deck. He then gave me a chance to respond. But honestly, that would be the smart thing to do to negate the formula synchron and destroy it. So if he could destroy it, that'd be great. I'm not really gonna be too picky about the whole shuffling of the deck because I mean he was gonna draw it regardless. Um, I'm not really too picky about that, especially when it's online and there's nothing really to lose. Um, so yeah, he right now let's see, it's level five. He could go into a six. That is a warrior monster. So junk gardener. Gardna? Uh, I'm pretty sure Junk Gardner wouldn't be that bad. I'm trying to think of Junk monster, junk Synchro Monsters that are level 6. I know Junk Gardner is one. Maybe that's the only one? I... I don't want to say I'm sure. I was never a big Synchro guy, to be completely honest, except for certain archetypes that allow me to go into Synchros. And even if I did go into Synchros, I would only go into 8s, 7s, 5s. I've never been good with uh, quick draws or plants just because <laughs> you need basic math, which is a skill that I do not have. So I cannot play anything that requires math. Uh, hence me always needing to use a calculator or, you know, taking my time to add up two and five. Basic stuff like that. I can't do that shit. 
So he's going to go into a level 6 Drill Warrior. Completely forgot about this card. I knew there was another one. Alright, so once per turn during your main phase 1, you can have the, this card's attack. And if you do, uh, once per turn, you can discard one card. And if you do banish this card during the next standby phase, special summon this card from the banish zone. Alright, cool. Awesome. Great. I'm ecstatic. Alright, so he, he's basically going to get a straight up 1200 life points. Um, Alright, he's going to get... Actually, 1500 life points because I'm gonna lose a 300 because it does not, uh, goalkeeper does not stop battle damage, it just stops the destruction of it once that turn. Um, all right, he could have, he, honestly, he could have gone for Quasar if I didn't stop his formula synchro and if he had a level eater, he could have gone for Quasar. Um, he does have to discard uh, one card though for the drill warrior. So, let's see what he is going to discard. Uh, next turn, I'm just going to get over that Armides, poke for some big damage. Uh, with goal uh, I'm going to keep Goalkeeper in defense mode. So, um, yeah. Uh, Joe Warrior does require a discard. That much, I'm sure, because I, I do have the ability to read up to a 11th grade level. So... Uh, yeah, he he will need to discard for Drill Warrior. I mean, honestly, it really won't make that big of a difference. But to me, but he is going to discard that one card, and uh, that's pretty good on itself. All right, so all right, let's see. We got a Monarch Stone Fourth. Can we end the game right now? Let me think. We got midfielder. I'm not too sure we can end the game. Maybe we can, I'm just bad at math. Do I have Shark Fortress? Uh, even if it did, I, I don't think it would be that much of a thing, difference. That'd be 48. Yeah, I, I won't be able to end the game. But he only has one card plus a Drill Warrior that's going to come back. It's nothing too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to normal some of the midfielder, Stadium. Um, I'm going to get the Search off. And I mean, at this point, it's not really going to matter. I'm just going to search out another Ace. Bounce this back to hand. Get a slugger. This becomes 28. This becomes uh, 2500 attack. And this becomes 1500 attack. Uh, yeah, awesome. And I'm going to turn this. I have an idea. I'm going to go turn this to attack mode to deal as much damage as possible. Um, let's attack. This is going to be taking the 200 life points here, and I am going to attack for 2800 and then again for 1500. Now, Ace, what, what makes Ace good if you have multiple Aces at hand is that Ace has no restriction that you can only use this once per turn. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to bounce back the Slugger. Special summon the ace in defense position. Uh, oops. Uh, <laughs> that was retarded. I meant ace. This is what you do when you film at freaking 11 in the morning. At uh, 11 in the morning. 11 at night. Sorry, guys. This is uh, a good night dual video. So if you guys are watching this the next day or whatever, that's awesome. So anyways, yeah, now I have two negations. And this duel is basically in the bag for me. Um, he does get his Synchron monster back. And I'm going to negate... Wait, how are you going? Yeah, because if he activates Rota, I'm not going to give you any more advantage. I'm just going to end up negating. Because there is uh, no point. To be honest, there is no point. I could just, you know, negate the Rota. Just you know, put my home, like, uh, just make my grip on the game tighter. So at this point, I don't see absolutely anything he could do. Maybe bring back the glow bulb. Um, because Rhoda, I'm assuming he would search out a junk synchron. Maybe bring back glow bulb. Uh, the best play he could probably do is a black rose. I gain Joel's effect to add a card. Uh, um, effect. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna let that happen. So, 
I'm just going to negate that effect with Ace. Destroy that. If he activates Rota again, I'll just negate that as well. And I feel pretty comfortable. Thank you. Easy peasy. Just bounce back the Monarchs. And at this point, yeah, there's, there's nothing you can do. Right? It's perfectly understandable. Hope you guys enjoyed this duel. I mean, honestly, I guess I just opened up with too good of a hand, or maybe he just opened up with too bad of a hand. He could have made Quasar. All he needed was one level eater. But, uh, rip. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this duel video. This has been Oblivion. Catch you guys later. Laduces.